If I want to draw a rounded cornered triangle, then I need to use the polygon tool. So I've gone, used the camera, gone into a top view, click on the polygon and it comes up with a six sided shape. So if I change that to three, and then so you see it's now changed to a three sided shape. If I change it to eight, and then to change this to an eight sided shape, and back to three, click on the axis, and start drawing, and I want that to be about 50 mil. That means the circle that's going around the outside of the triangle is about 50 mil circular. So that will give you a rough idea. Um, you can't really, unless you draw the triangle in a different way, you can't measure the triangle from front to back. So 50 will do for me. Again, it's quite small. Click on the magnifying glass tool and zoom in. So, and there we go, roll the mass forward. Now, to get my rounded corners just right, um, instead of drawing triangles or uh, squares in the corner, which I did with the square, I'm going to draw a triangle, but I'm not going to draw a triangle into the corner. I'm going to use the offset tool, and I'm going to offset it by how much I want my corners to be rounded. So I want my corners to be rounded by 10 mil, and whoops, don't quite what I did then. Try that again. There we go. So I've now got another triangle inside the first one. So I draw my circle, and I want it a 10 mil hit on the 10, same thing, hit on the 10, same thing. So I've now drawn a triangle that's offset inside by 10 millimeters and three circles which are 10 millimeters. So I now want to remove the lines, leave myself with a nice outside curved line. So click on the rubber, click over the point, click over the point, and click over the point. Now, I'll remove the inside ones next. And sometimes when you try to delete the circles, it'll only do it a little bit at a time. Sometimes if you're lucky, if you do them last, they'll disappear. So if I go to camera and go to a nice isometric view so I can see a bit better, I can either pull it up and make myself a nice straight sided triangle or of course I can offset it again and if I find the offset button which is here drag myself a line in again if I go in too far the lines will cross over so I think looking at that probably 10 is about its limit I'm actually going to make that 5 I think select the top Oops. Edit undo, is what I want to do. Select the top, move key with Alt, press down first, make sure it's going in the direction that you want it to be in. Make that 20, and now I've got a rounded, cornered, sloping, triangular shape. 